Hey Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. Oh, you guys, I just caught one, 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 y'all. The ones have been stalking me for real, for real. Okay, but hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me, you guys. So I'm here. I wanted to um pull a couple of messages for the end of June. We're getting ready to end off the month, you guys. Um, I've already done a reading on the June. July energy for us well one I've, I did the year 2020 reading so you can you know always refer back to that um but I did post a um July cancer reading over on my main tarot channel if you're interested I hope I can remember to drop the video in the eye or in the comment section so you can find it um but my channel my main tarot channel boss lady b tarot is down in the description box below along with any other information that you may want to know it'll all be on my website that's how you can book a, we uh, a website book a personal reading with me if you want to by going to my website it's going to be the first link down in the description box below you guys so yeah let's get into it we're gonna see what cancer needs to know for the end of june what messages come up for cancer just for the end of june spirit what does cancer needs to know we're getting ready to culminate a um the month of june y'all i sleep feel like june went by quick um, we're getting ready to have this new moon. I'll be back with the new moon and cancer reading. Y'all, you know, this should be a very, very good time for you, okay? If you're a cancer, the moon, the new moon is in your sign. So it's at home. Um, Mercury is at home in Gemini right, right now. And who else got somewhere at home? It's like three planets at home right now. So even though, y'all, I know it's craziness going on in the world, y'all, but just... I ain't going to go too deep into that right here. I'm going to get into the message. But, yeah, it should be a good time for you right now, Cancer. Don't get caught up on what's going on, okay? Um, we're going to see what spirit has for us, okay? Um, oh, how could I forget? Happy birthday to all the Cancers. Happy birthday. If today is your day. Happy birthday, boo. I hope that you're enjoying it. Um, let me know down in the comments so I can say happy birthday to you. If I missed you, if I miss you, I'm sorry, but I'm definitely saying happy birthday to you right here. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Thank you, spirit. Clear, accurate messages for cancers for the remainder of June. What does cancer need to know for the remainder of June? Before we get into July, what do we need to know? I love that this energy came out, you guys. Things are unfolding. We're definitely in this summer energy, okay? But wait. Just wait. I know that there's kind of... You're in this, like, abysses. The in-between. But wait, you guys. Things will unfold for you. Things... Expect the unexpected to unfold. This element of fire at the bottom of the deck. Major opportunities are coming in, you guys, that are going to grow... Um and expand you okay positively these things are unfolding you're not gonna you're not gonna ex you're not gonna see this coming this whatever this is that's coming in for you is definitely larger than life i feel like you're gonna be getting excited okay a lot of creative energy things are unfolding for you though cancer so things seem kind of quiet not exciting oh just wait <laughs> just wait what does cancer need to know for the end of june spirit So, wow, we have the ring energy that came out. There could be, y'all, there could be some agreements coming in the cons or some um, people coming into union, okay? Some commitments happening, um, some type of partnerships, alliances, you guys. Some of you may be at a crossroads in your connections, in your partnerships. Some of them, you could be definitely turning away from moving on to new people your soul tribe i definitely feel like there's an opportunity that's being presented with this um energy as well there's going to be an opportunity that's going to lead you down a different path okay um y'all y'all been y'all hear me talking about the trip some of y'all are taking a road trip or like a birthday trip okay a lot is going to happen on this trip i feel like an opportunity Wherever this journey, wherever this journey takes you, Cancer, it's definitely, it's like, it's faded. Like, it's a part of your destiny, okay? 
So some of you could be traveling um, the end of this month. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but um, give me messages for, ooh. Yeah, so we got this geese energy. Y'all, yay. I love that it showed up too because it peaked out in the deck. This, <clears throat> excuse me, double rainbow energy. You know, I've been talking about duality around cancer. You know how cancer, the chariot has a black and white like horse. Duality, double rainbow. Double for your trouble, I'm hearing too. Look, divine intervention. I feel like this divine intervention is this opportunity that's being handed to you. Like, y'all, y'all, when I say that July reading over on my main tarot channel, listen, I'm ready for July because this divine intervention, it really came through, okay? Like, it was really showing in the card, y'all. Um, so, Spirit is saying, look, hold out because, yeah, I'm about to step in and I'm about to switch some things up, okay? <clears throat> Yeah, because the hangman energy is here at the bottom under that. So things you could feel like they're held up. You could feel like you're hung up or held up. You know, like you're just kind of floating, living, existing, right? Um, but I feel like your intuition could definitely, your intuition, spirituality could definitely be hiding right now, you guys. Um, getting caught up in like illusions and fantasies and that kind of thing but i definitely see this double rainbow is is that um magician energy as so above so below so something that you've manifested something that you've been faithful to with this geese energy that showed up y'all some of you are definitely <clears throat> um so you know how the geese they travel when you know they travel when it's when when it when you have to they travel to adapt to their situation or whatever you know how birds migrate or whatever that's what someone's doing that's what someone is doing okay um you're being you're relocating and it's the perfect timing for you to be relocating give me messages for the end of june for cancer messages for the end of june So, yay, y'all, this ladybug energy, a vibrant life, you guys. The ladybug is always like good luck, happiness, good health. Your wishes are coming true. Those birthday wishes, you guys, uh, it's been saying, I'm telling you, good health, balance, things are coming back. It's like you're being, you're being moved to a new place and you're being restored when you get there. Some of you could be, um, have just had a daughter or are having a daughter, finding out you're having a daughter. I love this, you guys. Um, I do feel like this, uh, commitment, let's actually see, clarify this ring energy. Clarify the ring energy for cancers clarify the ring energy from the spirit okay yeah so this is destiny y'all this is your destiny this is death um this is a destined situation that's happening a faded event is coming is happening for you either you're about to be for some of you you could be meeting like a romantic partner some type of partnership however um you're going to come into some type of agreement there could be some type of offer that's offered to you some type of contract um whatever this is whatever this is for you whatever promise this is or closure this is it is um your destiny okay this is your destiny <clears throat> This is being divinely guided, you guys. Whatever this, um, whatever this is for you, it definitely very well could be like a partnership. Um, could be just you know you meeting your soul tribe. It's whatever this is. I'm tell it's faded, you guys. This is faded for you, and it's a memory. Um, or it's um, it's hidden to you. It's a mystery to you. It could have been a mystery to you all this time. It's like you know something's about to happen. Um. But, yeah, you guys, I definitely see us moving into a more, like, lush, just overflowing, abundant life. I'm getting, like, tears of joy. I'm hearing tears of joy. Some of you could definitely be meeting your partner, though, and getting married. 
someone i feel like if it's not a partner for you it could definitely be someone like a supportive friend um a business partner it's a, it's a definitely a very faded event that's happening so and look y'all the double rainbow wanted to come out again so i'm just gonna leave that here yeah and see the moon energy at the bottom of the deck definitely could be a romance for someone y'all the moon energy yeah y'all and look what's right behind it twin flames someone's meeting their twin flame like it's it's um it's happening here you're meeting your soulmate it's like this yin and yang you're, you're meeting your divine partner it's that's the faded event for someone you're meeting your divine partner um queen of cups at the bottom of the deck so cancer water energy showing up Let's see what comes up in the tarot. Um, I want to know more about these rings, this agreement. Yeah, okay, wow. This is a breakthrough, you guys. The Ace of Swords, this is definitely like a new beginning. Um, divine forces, y'all. This Ace of Swords, this is the hand of the divine being handed to you, okay? You can trust this. Tell me more about the ring energy for cancer. I'm not going to take all of that. But you guys, I I see how that hangman energy is showing up. I feel like think you could feel like things aren't moving or um, like there's a hold up. But yeah, look, the will of fortune. It's like this will of fortune is slowly turning. It can feel slow as molasses, you guys. But right in the nick of time, right in the nick of time, tell me more about this ring. There's divine intervention with this Ace of Swords. Tell me more about the ring. Yeah, the Ten of Wands that came out. You guys, I feel like this is definitely going to come in and kind of relieve this burden. Whatever this, uh, whatever this could be for you, it's definitely coming in to relieve some type of burden that you're holding on to with the ten of wands you guys it's destiny it's necessity that you let these burdens go too so it's necessary that you leave whatever this is behind um clarify the summer waxing energy yeah something's coming in to balance you guys temperance it's going to put you back. You're going to feel back grounded, solid. Definitely um, balance, you guys. We got justice showing up. So justice could be definitely being prevailed in a situation for you with some type of opportunity. We got the Queen of Swords that came out. The Queen of Swords, she's very, like, determined and focused, you guys. I feel that um, with this Queen of Swords energy, look, she's looking ahead. It's like she's not being distracted by anything around her. I feel that that's the energy that you're needing to, um, <clears throat> to hold, <clears throat> to be kind of positive. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords for Cancer Spirit. Oh, yeah. Look. You're definitely about to do something. And um, so with the Emperor energy coming out, you know, the Queen of Swords, she kind of gives like a masculine vibe. Like, you know, she, out of all of the other queens with the Emperor showing up as well too, it's like, yeah, I see you kind of just really standing in um, power here. This is the growth that's happened. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Uh-oh. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Yeah, y'all, look. The Queen of Pentacles came out. So you see how these, these queens, this um, they're focused on one thing. Or they're focused, they're laser focused on this new beginning, I feel. With the fool showing up at the bottom of the deck. Whatever this, um, whatever this opportunity or commitment coming in for you. Some of you are definitely, I'm getting like Ada, Ada Cups vibes in this geese energy. It's like you're definitely, you're migrating somewhere else, relocating. Yeah, 
yeah look there's nothing left for you where you were um th this geese energy was the number 14 card one and four is five you guys the five of pentacles is here um, and like I said, you know, when the geese get cold or whatever, it's like nothing left for them there. They have to adapt. They have to move. That's what's happening. You're being forced to move. There's nothing left for you there, Cancer. It's time for you to go and um, find your warm. See, there's something about like climate change because you go from being cold to like being warm, this vibrant, abundant life where your wishes come true. Where is Cancer headed? Show me this ladybug energy. Clarify this ladybug energy. Move, look, and I always see the Nine of Swords as like a lifestyle change, you guys. The sun at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more about this ladybug energy. The Ten of Swords, you guys. Yeah, look, there's an end to this you being out in the cold you feeling like there's a lack whatever this is um that's coming towards you whatever opportunity whatever person this is because it's running it, it's like running into you um because you're being you're being made uncomfortable and being forced out to to move somewhere else or relocate somewhere else um it's nothing left for you there but there you know there's always a beautiful um there's always beauty in whatever ending this is. It's like the perfect time for it to end because something new is beginning, you guys. We got the two tens out here, ten of um, ten of wands, ten of swords. <clears throat> Clarify the ace of swords for Cancer. What's this ace of swords? Yeah, you guys. Wow, the sun. Your success. See, I'm telling you, this is like your um, this coming to warm you up. I'm clarifying this Ace of Swords, y'all. This, whatever contract, this could be, whatever this is, it's divine. It's fated, okay? It's destiny being granted, handed to, like, it's the divine working in, in your life. Um, and the sun coming out, it's coming to warm you up out of this feeling of lack. See, you're being made to feel uncomfortable so you can migrate like the geese. Some of you are definitely, I feel like, could be moving to a warmer climate as well. <clears throat> but something could definitely be happening, you guys. Some type of faded event could be happening for you at the end of this month. Go with it. It's a major opportunity. Go with it. If it, if it um, requires you to relocate, it's like move forward on a mission, okay? Move forward on a mission because um, this double rainbow, I'm actually going to pull a tea leaf. It's like this divine intervention is, it, it may not feel the prettiest at first. Sometimes, you know, it'd be like that. Um, see, yeah, look, y'all, this chain energy, a chain of events that will affect your life. There's, um, faded events are happening that are going to affect your life for the rest of your life here. This is like destiny. This is destiny. Um, someone new could be entering your life, you guys. We got the chair field energy. So someone new could definitely be coming in. You could be meeting this person. Be open, Cancer, because I feel like, yeah. Look, and the rainbow showed up at the bottom of the deck. The most difficult part of the situation is over. So whatever you were facing, we got double rainbow energy that showed up. You're finna get double for your trouble and the hard part is over now. It's time for you to um it's time for you to celebrate. An exciting event, you guys. So some of you are going to some type of exciting event. Could be about your birthday, honey. <laughs> Um, look at that passionate love trying to come out. You guys, some of you are falling in love. This is, like I said, someone's meeting their twin flame. It's faded. Whatever this is, it's faded and it's meant to affect your life. It's meant to affect your life. So one more. And y'all, it came out. The fire energy, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. I feel like it's passionate love here with this person that comes in. Some of you could have passionate hate for, um, a female energy. Or a female energy could have a passion or, you know, strong feelings or emotion. Mm. However, but I feel like this is honestly like passion. All right, one last one. Um, so pig energy. Beware of greed, you guys. Look, stepping into a, a new experience. 
We got the leg energy that came out. So definitely a new experience, you guys. I feel like this new experience, look, you're being blessed with like a whole bunch. It's, it's a vibrant, abundant life, okay? So with this pig energy, I feel that, look, you're going to have double for your trouble. Um, don't get Don't get too ahead of yourself. You know how y'all know. It's like, don't get too ahead of yourself, okay? I'm just going to say it like that with this pig energy. Beware of greed. It could be in other people, too, as well, though. <clears throat> it could be a woman that, you know, has that disdain for you. Cancer. They could be greedy about, you know, this divine intervention that's happening in your life. Because, yeah, you're being blessed with a happy, very abundant life, you guys. Your wishes are coming true. Okay, look, Spirit is saying, remain positive. You are recovering, you guys. Whatever challenges you may have felt had you down, um, you are recovering. And I feel like, yes, yeah, Spirit is sending helpful people. There is some people. I feel like people that will come into your life or a person that is going to help you recover. You could meet these people at an event, you guys. Faded, faded things are happening. So if you get invited to an event, I would say go because you could be ending up meeting your twin flame. Whatever. I feel like you're gonna, um, you're not gonna be mad that you did. Okay. I'm gonna pull one more angel message. What does Cancer need to know for the end of June? Look, no need to worry. Spirit says there's no need to worry. Things are unfolding. You may be worried that things aren't moving because, yeah, I'm feeling this stagnancy of, like, the hangman energy, y'all. Like, things aren't moving. You may feel like you're on a deadline. But Spirit is coming in with divine forces, okay? Faded events. Things out of your control. Don't even... It's like sit back and watch the divine work, y'all. Sit back and watch the divine work this miracle in your life. Remain positive. And it's, it's like, you know, start expressing gratitude for what this is already. But, you guys, I feel like the message here is there's something faded that's going to happen um, for you. Go with it, okay? Wherever it leads you, go with it. One final message for cancer for the end of June. Yes, look, y'all, dust devil. I'm, I'm telling you, I feel the energy of stagnation, but it's like spirit is going to come and kick up the dust in your life, okay? Like, it may have been a small, little peaceful, quiet desert, like things weren't moving, but the dust is about to get stirred, so get ready, y'all, okay? That's what I'm telling you. I told you, look, and I'm telling look, it's a magician sword at the bottom of the deck. This is that divine intervention, y'all. This is how spirit is coming in. Like, yeah, it's the situation may be looking bleak, but that sword finna come in and, and chop up some things. And I'm telling you, um, remain positive. Be confident in your magic. I love that that showed up. Thank you, spirit. So I'm gonna read the message here for this dust devil. Moving out of stagnation energy, trusting. So you got to trust the process, you know, <laughs> and embrace the chaos, y'all. Embrace the chaos that it comes with it. You know, when you're stirring up the dust, it can seem chaotic until it settles, until the dust settles again. But the dust never, never goes back to where it once was. Once you kick up the dust, you get settled in a new place. Okay. So it says the presence of the dust devil causes a ruckus. Some people are afraid of his chaotic nature, believing that he comes intentionally to stir, stir things up. The truth is, you can't expect this dream ally to behave, to bring niceness, or to be clean. His power is in the mess he creates as he calls for you to engage in the full cyclone of life. He represents two aspects to you now. The winds in your outer life appearing to throw you off course, where you assume the world is coming at, or happening to you and the winds that churn inside of you with the dust devil arising from your dreamscape to help you escape your invisible chains shackling you to a barren desert. So stop asking for things to be perfect. Awkward, messy, conflicted, exuberant, and wild is how you shift. That's how y'all grow. You can't, you know, things ain't just going to be perfect and prim and proper and like you got to be uncomfortable to grow, okay? So trust the process. The dust devil knows what you need when you need it. Once things settle, you will see the gleaming jewels awaiting your discovery, the wisdom awaiting integration. So definitely some truth could be, you know, coming with this Ace of Swords as well, um, you guys. But um, this Magician Sword energy, know that nothing can stop you, okay? 
there's some things I feel like you're having to do with the sword as well as far as like um it's time to get moving. It's time to get moving. So when this opportunity presents itself, you guys, this is talking about your limiting beliefs, cutting through those limiting beliefs and remembering who you are, remembering your magic. Okay, remember that the sword is alive, the wisdom. Don't hesitate, y'all. Do not hesitate on whatever this um whatever this faded thing that comes your way the end of this month. Do not hesitate on it. I feel like move forward. Move forward on it. There's no need to worry about what's happening. Do I want to pull one more? I feel like I do. But I might just leave it here. I don't know. I don't pick up the cards now. So, yeah. One more. <laughs> one final message. Any other final message for Cancers for the end of June spirit? Y'all, yes. I love it. Overflow. Overflow. Overwhelm and plenty see that's what happens when you surrender you surrender to the change y'all this is that knight of swords energy that i was talking about look the lifestyle change this is that is it not giving you the same vibe that's what's happening change is happening for you guys okay surrender to the change no matter how chaotic it is how crazy it feels because look overflow and plenty come into so where you were feeling lack there's nothing left for you there. It's cold. Just like the geese, they have to go somewhere else to get their food to live or whatever. But it's going to be, you're being led to a land of overwhelm. Like you're going to have so much. You're going to have more than, you're going to have more than you need, y'all. Remember we talked about that pig. It was like, um, but we're agreed, okay? So I'm going to say this. It says so many good things are headed your way or are already occurring in your life right now. Yet you may be thinking that you're not possible that they're not possible or you're not worthy of them. Abundance is everyone's natural state before we project our restrictions on it. Defining what it means, who has it, who gets it and so forth. Right now, take yourself out of your conditioning and look at your life through the eyes of plenty. There is so much beauty and love, opportunity, and divine synchronicity destined to support your dreams abound are lined up for you, yet it's sometimes difficult to discern it all because you're bombarded with too much information and stimulation distracting you from the truth that all is well. Sometimes all this overflow can be overwhelming, okay? And you may find yourself responding with an empathy overload. Empathy overload occurs when you tune into the collective angst and fear about impending changes and uncertainty, y'all. And that's, I feel like, what's happening in the world. Y'all, we can't lean into that, okay? I ain't gonna go too deep, but you can't lean. You cannot live your life based on what's happening in the world, okay? It's unmanageable. You'll feel like you're drowning in these emotions. It's time to allow yourself to detach, bring yourself back to your life, restore your faith in a power greater than you, okay? And remind yourself to focus on your smaller personal universe, which is much easier to manage. In this way, you know that you're a conduit for life's blessings and can share them with others. See, yeah, y'all, you are supposed to be, whatever you're getting, because I feel like you're about to get more than you need, okay? Like, that's why spirit had to humble you and take you through this where you're feeling like you're lacking. Remember I said that this came up um, when I said I felt like, you know, people's finances were under attack because I feel like spirit is really, really teaching us about money, okay? Um, and so you could have definitely been in a mindset of lack with your money, but I feel like you're about to get, what I said, double for your trouble. You're going to have more than you need. And it's like, remember how you felt when you, when you were, um, when you felt that you didn't have it all or that there was something lacking. Remember that. Don't get greedy and hold it to yourself, y'all, because I feel like that's honestly what's happening in the world. These people that are greedy are being exposed and all that, but that's another story for another day. Um, yeah. Um, in this way that you know that you're a conduit for life's blessings and can share them with others, making this perception of overflow profoundly positive. So, yes, y'all, this is going to be very, very positive for you. Spirit is saying, remain positive. This faded event, this you stepping into this new experience, y'all, surrender to it. You are ready, okay? Spirit saying, you are ready. Yeah, because look, I picked up this card, this nine of wands. You, you looking kind of scared. You like, I don't know. I don't know about all this change spurt, um, but spirit is saying, yeah, go for it. Um, I'm kicking, I'm kicking the dust up. So it might not be fun, 
But yeah, that's what's happening, y'all. I'm going to leave it here. I really do hope that the reading resonates with someone and you found it helpful. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'd love to have you a part of my all Cancerian family, okay? Um, I love you guys so much. Talk to me in the comments. Happy birthday again if today is your birthday. Happy birthday to all the rest of the Cancers. Hopefully, I'm um, live and alive on your day so I can tell you happy birthday because I feel like, you know, everybody should get a happy birthday on their birthday. But yeah, you guys. I'm going to leave it here. Enjoy the rest of your June. I'll be back real, real soon with the new moon and cancer message. So make sure you turn on your notification bells. Oh, yeah, I will be going live with you guys real soon, too, if you want to do um, some tip readings. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. But anyway, yeah, just turn on your notification bell so you so you don't miss it, okay? Um, in the meantime, in between time, until next time, you guys, love you.